Gurr in here. Just got done patching up the frame with this big old oversized piece of fish plate, but uh, I like it. <laughs> it's sturdy. Gonna do something about this exhaust. I know for sure it's gonna hang up, you know, four wheeling. It's gonna hit here, it's gonna hit there, it's gonna mangle it. So, I'm guessing I should do something about it. I guess let her do it now, then I guess later. Um, yeah. So, can't really do too much. I can't really put it inside here underneath inside the frame i guess i could if i really worked hard but i'm trying to make the easiest route possible so i'm gonna do some hackery <laughs> some experimentation <laughs> i have another spare set in the junk pile they're not as good a shape as this but um they'll work in case i mess this up i just put it back the way it was but um Oh yeah, somebody was asking me about what kind of uh, filter I got right here. It's a, it's a KN filter. Let's see. Yeah, two and a half inch KN filter. So it's nine inches by two and three eighths. KN. It's a really good filter. You buy it stuff and you spray inside the, the filter and you wash it out and you reuse it. It's outstanding. Very much like it. Gives you about a half inch clearance right there. The old man patched this up. Did a real good job. Um, he also lifted the, the hood. If you can see, there's a gap here. He put a new piano hinge in it. And lift it. You see the gap on the other side? I actually kind of like it. You see the metal he put in here? Sprayed it <laughs> with copper, I guess. You can see the copper showing through. Again, I like it. <laughs> it raised the hood up a little bit. And it gets this uh, engine a lot of air. So anyhow, that's the kind of filter I got. It sits right on a two-barrel Rochester. Um, pretty much stock, everything's stock. Um, oh yeah, back to the back to the muffler. So the plan is cut it here, shorten this, cut it here at the collect uh, this piece right here, the collector piece, and uh, shorten this so I can put that right here to fit these guys. Should work. If not, I just put it all back together and. Uh, Put it down as a, a learning experiment. This is all this is. I'm just back here having fun anyways in the backyard. So let's have some fun. Let's get busy. I just made the first cut. 
I just cut this one down by eyeballing it to connect to that one. And it's gonna tuck up real nice right under there. Hopefully I eyeballed it correctly and made the right measurements. <laughs> yeah. Then I'll do the same thing for that one to there, to there. Then this bottom one, I'll make it fit that one. It'll be all nice tucked in. Hopefully it goes right, just like that. And I'll connect that piece onto there. And then with the new exhaust, I'll connect that up to that one. Well, this is what we're looking for. I tuck that all up there. I'm gonna weld it all up. Got my header figured out. Got them coming down here. I'm gonna connect this to that. And it should be tucked up high up there. Um, and then we gotta relocate the muffler to the rear. Came out pretty good. Whoever invented this stuff is a uh, genius. Hides all the messiness underneath. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna cut me out a piece of that to connect to that pipe. High up as I can get it, close to the frame as I can get it. All right, just got this thing done. I uh, shortened the headers, I rerouted them into here. Shortened them, um, put a new gasket on, then I wrapped them. Took off the muffler from down there and rerouted it to the rear end. I put this piece of pipe in there. I gotta spray it. I'll probably spray it with some camo, but I'll probably first spray it with some high heat um, spray paint, and then I'll spray it with the OD, and hopefully it'll hide the new parts. Yeah, after it heats up, it'll turn like a brown. That way now, this won't be catching on it, anything. It might take some damage, but it'll be easy to repair. Ideally, we'd want the stock manifold, so I'm on the lookout for some stock manifolds. I won't hold my breath, though. As compared to the other ones. Oh, that's just hanging there. Anyhow. That'll work for now. I start getting going on this side. I'm gonna take this fender off, gonna take these headers off. I'm gonna start working on the brake. Hopefully fix that issue. Put that on that side. Have it here, like a normal, like a normal brake. And then we'll redo the headers, shorten them, reroute them. So it's tucked up into here, one pipe, and then the exhaust in the back. This is still open. I still gotta put the radiator back. It's sitting over there just to gain access. I was doing the work here. Uh, weld back in my battery box. And I put the fender back on. But I'll just wait on that till I'm done on this side. Yep. And after all that, that gets back in there. Put the wheels back on. We'll take it for a joyride. There's a better shot of it. Shouldn't catch now. It might take a few dents, but it came out all right. Got the before and after picture right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I had a uh, stock manifolds. Yeah, cause this is right here. I'm not sure how. Not exactly sure how it would run. I know it comes up like that. 
go back around, but the steering's in the way. But if I can find a pair of stock manifolds, I'd definitely try to put those in there. They would tuck nicely in there inside the frame. If I have to go something like that, back down into there, underneath the brake, like that. <laughs> this will work. This is almost free. Yeah, I had to buy that piece of pipe right there. That guy charged me 20 bucks for a 10 footer. So I'm down 20 bucks in about three and a half hours. So I'm gonna start making some cuts on here. Cut it here, take out about that chunk, cut it again there. Gonna cut it up here. And then take these pieces and rearrange them. They fit a little tighter and to match this side, similar to this side. All right, it's getting hot out here, so I'm gonna, I don't wanna hang out here too long. Middle of a freaking heat wave out here. Like 102 right now. Unacceptable. Let me get this done real quick. Go inside, crank on the AC, put my feet up. <laughs> So I got it all cut up now. I'm gonna rearrange it all to fit. Got these pieces ready. Gonna make them all work. Shorten the collector tube here. Gonna start, gonna fit that up to the motor. Gonna start using these pieces to fit them up right and connect them back to here. Um, should be enough right here. If not, I got some pieces left over from that from the other side. Uh, we should have enough because the other side had some left over, so we should have some left over, hopefully. <laughs> Welded up my headers, rerouted them, shortened them. Came out all right. I think it came out a little bit better than the first ones. First ones uh, were just a little bit trial and error. We'll do the same thing. Add that pipe to it. Tuck it up there as far as I can. I'm not gonna grind any of those welds or anything like that. I'll just wrap it. It needs to be wrapped anyways, but it also helps me hide all this stuff. <laughs> we like it. <laughs>
got the exhaust done. Put it back up into there. Try to match the, the driver's side with the passenger side. Tucked it all up. Eliminated all that stuff that would get caught up in there. If I drive over a rock. Now the only damage I'll have is the pipe, which is easily repairable. Just a cut and splice and weld. Used four 45s, one on this side, on the other side. And then that piece, I used the existing to run it in. And then out the back here, Tied into it with another 45. Put some little cherry bombs on here. Should be good to go. Got the exhaust handle. 